So going forward, we're going to look at our little charts and see the next table to create. This one is off. This one is off. This one is off. Beautiful. Now we're going to look at um, an organization table. So we're going to go to the migration. Top arrow on my keyboard. Boom. And we can see the last one we created. I'll use the left arrow to move back and change it to organizations. Organizations. Okay. Hit enter. And uh, the migration is created. So just for fun, let us create all the migrations. So we stop coming back to this chart. So now our organizations is created. We need to uh, in, include um, invitations. All right. Invitations. So let us have um, invitations here. Remember that you can call it any name. For instance, you can call it interviews, interview invitations. Uh, I think that will be the best. Interview invitations. Interview invitations. Uh, in uh, we could uh, we could just limit it, limit it to invitations, so it can mean anything for us in the future. Invitations or contact requests, but our invitations will be a broad word to cover everything we need. Finally, we're gonna have jobs table and accounts table. So right here. Um, sometimes this thing takes a few seconds to create. We're going to do the same thing. So, up arrow back and we create jobs. Jobs table. Alright. And then we're going to create accounts table. Finally, we have accounts table. So, here I'm going to do accounts. Accounts table. Um, account is supposed to have two accounts. See, I've forgotten the spelling of accounts. Just to confirm, spell accounts. Isn't that a funny thing that you can type accounts? Spell accounts and Google spell it. Double C. Account. So we're going to do accounts. Accounts table. Now, um, I remember that we didn't initially want to create a country table because we want to reduce the volume of work we have. But since there's going to be payments, payments are supposed to be tied to currencies and currencies are tied to countries, you see. So it's good that we create a country table that will have country code and uh, payment. Uh, that is a uh, um, currency um, of the country should be tied to the same table. So just for uh, the betterment of our code, I'll create country table that we're going to use in future. Which means I have to get back to the users table and put country ID. Users migration. So if we go to users migration, we will have under country. So I'll give it as country ID. So every time you see ID in a migration like this, it means that the main table exists somewhere. So skills here is okay. Now we have created roles. Let's go to skills and uh, we're going to create user ID. Okay. Okay, good. Beautiful. Our queue is looking fine. Is there another thing we need to tie to it? Nothing. I'm going to copy soft deletes from here and then go to organization and then paste this. So going forward, a, a user can belong to an organization, right? And not just one user. As our platform grows, more than one user can belong to an organization, right? So we can do that also uh, to be able to fish out users that uh, belong to an organization. And um, that would be a very nice thing to do. So that will take us to something called many-to-many -many relationships. Okay, uh, we're, we're going to get to that, but let's see first. So we're going to call it um, organization underscore user. It's singular. If you want to understand what I'm doing here, let me hit enter first. So this is a joint table between two tables. So uh, for instance, we have an organization table. Then we have a user table. 
if we go ahead inside organizations for instance and add the user let's say let's know the user that created this table uh, we're gonna do um, integer we have user ID then so this is one user we're tying one user to this organization record how do we type multiple users to this so we can do user ID 1, user ID 2, for instance, we can do this, user ID 1, user ID 2. No, it's not going to make sense. Instead, we're going to create a separate table that keeps record of which user belongs to which organization. Beautiful. Alright. Now we have that table. Uh, whenever a new staff indicates that they are working in this company, we can easily know. We tie the, we tie the person to the company. Alright. That's just what uh, the other table does. Okay, so we are creating that and we're being careful not to make to make sure that we don't create too many tables because for each table you create you are giving yourself a you are creating avenues for you to write extra code and uh, for this tutorial we are avoiding too many codes we just want to navigate the full length so that you can understand how to build a Laravel 6 application okay so here we have um, remember that if you're not watching this from YouTube you can always find me on YouTube at youtube.com slash c slash braintem.org braintem.org okay and then if you uh, if you want the source code for this application and other my other source codes go to github.com uh, slash this is where I am on github alright so once you go there you will see me and of course if you need my email you can go to the Right, good. Now we go. Uh, let's roll back. Let's roll back. Roll back. Roll back, and we're good. So here, uh, the next thing we're gonna do is create a title table, and now we're gonna create the title string. The job title is gonna be title of the job. No title of the organization. We're gonna call it name of name of the organization. So a user logs in and creates an organization. Then uses that organization to go ahead with recruitment. Beautiful awesome so name and uh, where is the organization located we're gonna say which city and we're gonna make it nullable because not all organizations have uh, cities okay no able then we say which states tell us uh, um, it's the other way okay state tell us the state or province and finally I'm gonna say country country underscore ID okay now we know the name of the organization where it is located is there anything else we need to know yes we need to know the description uh, tell us something about your organization description what does the organization do uh, we're gonna make it knowledgeable uh, not knowledgeable you must tell us what uh, your organization does long text you must tell us we want to know you must okay good we're good and um so far we we know the user that created it and um we know the name of the organization and uh, we know where it is located what of contact details of this organization so we're going to create another field that tells us the contact details we're going to make it knowledgeable Okay, now level contact details. Okay, all right, beautiful. Now, um, we're done with organizations. Let's go to invitations. So, an invitation is tied to a user and tied to an organization, right? And also, maybe tied to a job posting and also tied to. Two different kinds of users so we got, we're going to have to take care of all these things so i think we should do that in the next video